dugsiyada nuradin nuradin iskulis Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. My name is Abdul Ghadir. Welcome back to our online video lessons. So today we're going to talk about summarizing. Our lesson is about summarizing. Which page? 86. And which class or grade? Form 4. And the lesson is summarizing. So look at your books and open your books, page 86. The lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, students should be able to give an appropriate definition for a summary. What is a summary? You have to remember. Learn uh, techniques in summary. Techniques. You have to learn the techniques and learn how to summarize long text. Or longer passages. So first, what is a summary? Summary is a shortened passage which retains the essential information of the original passage. Summary is a shortened passage which retains the essential information of the original passage. So you, you need to, to take the essential, essential information or the key points, the key points, not examples and other or details. More, you don't need more details. So if the passage is 150 words, you need to summarize around 50 words. Summary is a condensed form of the original text that needs to stand out as a unified whole. Summary is an active process. Which of the following actions are involved? First, uh, when you want to summarize or you want to make a summary, you should reduce the language. Reduce the language. For example, if, you, if, you're, if, you're, if your passage is 150 words. You need to summarize only 50 words. We're going to take an example. Reject. What, is, what do you mean that these are the techniques of the summary? What is the reject? Reject it means all the details, the information you're going to reject. Take the main points or the key points of the passage or the long text, what you wanted to summarize. Reward, use your own words, not copy and paste, but use your words. Uh, reproduce the writer's opinion and fact. Do not forget the opinions and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and the facts of the writer. Because uh, it's suitable for you to take when you want to reproduce. Repackage, the same meaning. Yeah, your, your summary and the original text are in same meaning, in, same, in terms of meaning. So do not lose the meaning. If you lose the meaning, that's not summary. Okay, the five R's of summarizing. Five R's is time for reduce, reduce, reject, reward, reproduce, and repackage. These are the techniques that you wanted to, you're going to use when you wanted to summarize. Reduce, what does mean? Make the summary shorter than the original text. If you have a 150 or 250 word uh, 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 passage, you're gonna summarize only 50 words. What about, re uh, yes. What about reject? Reject. Miss out some of the details, but include the key points, the key points, the key points. Okay, the key points. So number one, reduce, make the summary shorter than the original one. 
and the other reject miss out some of the details but include the key points key point you need the key points but you don't need the more details what about reward you're gonna use your your words your own words you're gonna use your english or your words it means that paraphrasing so paraphrase what about reproduce I guess express the original writer's facts and opinions accurately. The, the writer had an opinion and facts, so you're going to take that fact because it's necessary for you. Okay, rebackage. What about rebackage? Compress the same meaning. Do not lose the meaning because the original text and your summary should be similar in meaning. Or the same meaning. Writing a long summary. When you when writing a long summary, it is still necessary to use five R's. When summarizing a text, it's important to flow the flowing process. Number one, what is the steps are you going to take when you want to summarize? Apart from five R's, number one, read the original text. Read and understand what you are going to summarize number two yes number two make some notes some notes you're gonna make notes then summarize the flowing five rs five rs reduce reject reward reproduce and remember and uh, rebecca the notice must correctly report the content of the original text as if they contain errors if they contain errors the summary will also be incorrect too so the notice must correctly report the content remember that you must uh, report the content correctly of the original text if as if they contain errors in summary also become incorrect this is an example of the long text, so we need to summarize. The HIV AIDS been epidemic, HIV AIDS epidemic, threatens the people in every part of the world. For example, it destroys the health and lives of millions of people. It also shatters the families and communities and leaves millions of children orphaned. It undermines the whole countries by robbing them of the young, be able people, be uh, able bodied people needed to work in industry and agriculture. It ravages entire countries while Sub Saharan Africa, the area of Africa of Sub Saharan Desert has about 10 percent of the world's population it has almost two thirds of the world people living with hiv aids this is 91 words so we wanted to summarize this is the long text the original text this is the original text not summary okay before you before summary you gotta make notes you need notes hiv aids three to people in every part. This is the note. Health and life uh, destroys. But you can leave it the notes sometimes. Families and communities destroyed. Children orphaned. Countries robbed of the young, of the young. Workers for industry and agriculture. Continent, continents ravaged. It means evicted. So this is the note. HIV treated to people every part. Health and life destroyed. Families and community destroyed. Children orphaned. Countries robbed of the young workers for industry and ag agriculture. Okay. So this is the summary one example. How many words? 50 words. So this is the example. The HIV AIDS epidemic is a treat to people everywhere. 
destroying lives of families and communities. Young children lose their parents, and there is a lack of health young workers for industrial and agriculture, which affects economies in some parts of the world, such as Sub-Saharan Africa, as the highest proportion of the population of affected by HIV AIDS. So this is the summary and the original text. So you have an example. You're going to summarize. How many uh, techniques are you going to use? Remember, reduce, reject, repackage, reproduce, and reward. Another summary example. This is another summary. 107 words. Okay, summary. Example two. Sony. Toyota Nissan Ricoch are just a few large Japanese multinational companies with thousands of employees worldwide. It is to their management techniques, to their marketing strategies in the work patterns that most of Japanese economy successes in recent years can be attributed. Is this true? It may be, but there could be another explanation of Japanese uh, prosperity. In Japan, almost 60% of all manufacturing workers are in companies with fewer than 100 uh, employees. This, computer, uh, this com compares with a figure of below 20% for Britain and the United States. And for the small is beautiful, the small is beautiful, and, uh, and this, uh, this is an advocate. This is the real, uh, real reason for Japanese high productivity and success. So this is 107 words, and it's a long text. It's the original passage. So this is the summary. 37 words. 37 words. The summary of this could, uh, could read as follows. Japanese recent economic boom could be accounted for by the performance of large multinationals. However, some people claim it's really due to the performance of the small companies employing some 6% of all industrial workers. So this is the summary of your long text. So you have this one, 107 words, and this, in, uh, and this you have 37 words. So you're going to summarize like this one. Elements or contents of a summary. When writing your summary, pay attention to the following aspects. Layout. Layouts include the title. The title. And divide your summary into various paragraphs. You're going to uh, uh, divide your, uh, for, uh, your, your summary into various paragraphs. And do not forget the title. Otherwise, the, the reader will get confused. So title. Without title, the reader is lost at the very first minute. The introduction should indicate the general theme of the summary, the general idea. And what you are talking about, introduction, tell us. Yes. Don't include too uh, uh, many details. Leave out examples. No need to mention to mention uh, 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 a lot of things like details and information as you leave this one, but uh, the key points. Use your own words, but a phrase sentences, you're gonna use your own words. When you want to summarize, remember to use your own words, not copy and paste. Sentence from the original text. However, maintain the original meaning, but do not divert or do not lose the meaning.
elements or concepts of summary. Use transitional words like however, therefore, uh, on the other hand, on the contrary. We're going to use this one. Yeah, use that one and raise this. Use the proper personal pronouns to avoid repetition. It, they, he, she. Use the right tenses. So this is uh, the, techni uh, the techniques or the advices or the element you're going to use when you want to summarize. To remember all this one is and even five RS. Okay, thank you very much for your watching. I say to you, uh, let us see next week, inshallah. So, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.